Hey guys, so I had a new idea for um, a video to do today, and it's going to be my January favorites um, of scrapbooking things, and I know that a lot of people do this um, with, like, beauty products, so I decided to do it with scrapbooking tools and supplies. So first of all, um, I just want to share with you one thing that I got. Sorry. Um, for Valentine's Day, my mom gave me this um, scrapbooking club ck tips and tricks and this this one is about texture so thank you for that mom and it has a bunch of really neat um tips about sewing and such and then um i don't know if i mentioned this to you already but i got this box one of these ones to alter um so let me start with my favorites so the first thing would be at a, one of my tools and it's these. I I know um, lots of you probably have these or the Tim Holtz ones, and mine are kind of dirty, but I use these for everything, and I should probably get a new pair because they're um, kind of getting dull, but they come with this nice cap because there's a really pointy edge to this. I don't know if you can tell. And they're really sharp and really thin, and they cut very smoothly, and they're called Cutter Bee um, from EK Success. And these work so well. Um, I've tried going back to other scissors to so I could, like, save these for cutting ribbon and paper and stuff. But I had to go back to these because they were really good. Um, another tool that I recently purchased was my Zap... Whoa, hold on. My Zap American Crafts um, heat gun tool. And I've only used this a few times. I haven't used it for, for projects yet. But so far, it works so well. And the little on and off switch is right here. And it's, like, really easy. And it comes with this little stand. And I asked the lady at Archivers which one she recommended. This one or, like, I don't know which one it was. But it was, like, the one that looks like a blow dryer. Sort of. It's, like, white. And, yeah. But she said that this one works way better. And I haven't tried the other one. But I probably would never try it because... This one already works really well, and it's really light, and I just keep it in my um, bossing station, I call it, um, and it's plugged in and everything and ready to go for when I need it. So that is, is it for the tools. Well, unless you count this as a tool, I guess you do, but it's the Tim Holtz distressing tool, distressing tool, so yeah. And I also recently got this, and... I don't, I don't know if you're supposed to use one thing for two colors, but I do. And anyway, um, so, yeah. This, I love. And probably everybody watching this video has one of these. because. But if you don't, then you should buy one. Because it's a really, really great investment. And I, like I said before, I tried to make one of these out of felt. And um, it doesn't work as well. Because, I don't know, this is like really cool felt. So, anyway, that is the third item. And the next item is my adhesive. And this adhesive I probably use the most next to my Elmer's um, Extra Strong, Extra Strength Glue Stick because that, it has a really nice chiseled tip to it. And, um, it it sticks really well, but it dries very fast, so you kind of have to be quick in whatever you do. But it's a Zig memory system, and my camera's really blurry. Okay, I'm going to try wiping it to see what it'll do. And it didn't really help. So it's a Zig memory system to way glue, and this, it just works so well. Like, I can't really describe it, but it can hold down ribbon, but I don't think that's what it's meant for. It can hold down ribbon, and um, somebody, I, I watched this video, and... Um, if you get this, there's a bigger kind that's, like, the end is, like, that big. And you can use it for, like, re-sticking your Cricut mats. And I tried it, and it it works pretty well. It actually makes it pretty sticky. So, um, this is better for smaller things, like little pieces of chipboard or flowers or anything. So, that is my favorite adhesive for this month. And I'm probably going to do these either every month or every other month, depending on, like, I don't know, what I use that month. So 
So the next thing is kind of like like embellishments, but I only have three. Um, and the first one is buttons. I use these so much this month. I don't know why. Like, these are all the buttons I have. I don't have a ton, but um, I'll just pour a few out for you. This will come out. But I have lots of them in different, like, shapes and colors, and I think that's pretty. And then I have a few vintage buttons, but, um, well, they're buttons. You can do anything with them, really. But, yeah, so, you guys all know what buttons are. But I use these a lot for flower centers, and, um, I don't know. I use these a, for a lot of my projects this month, and, um, yeah, so, buttons. And the next thing is an also a recent purchase is my Tim Holtz Vintage Photo Distress Ink from R by Ranger. And since I just purchased this, I used it a lot, and um, that is why it's on here. Because this is really good. It really is like a vintage photo look. Like, it really does create that vintage like appearance to it. So, if you're trying to make your projects look vintage, then I recommend this because it is one of my favorite distressings. And I, although I only have two, I've seen many distressings. So, this, so far, is my favorite. But, um, yeah, and it, it's, it's good for distressing and also for stamping, if you didn't know that before. So, this, that's number six or five or something like that. And the last thing are my wood stamps. And... I don't know why, but I haven't been using clear stamps as much as I have been using um, wood stamps. I, um, I think it's because I have a, a little bit more of these wood stamps. And this container only had these ones here from Stampin' Up! that um, my mom's friend sent me. And these are really cute, by the way. Um, and these ones I already had. But I really love, some of my favorites are this dragonfly right here. And you can see how big it is. It's not too big, but it's a good size. And I like this and this background polka dot pattern. And some of them aren't really good quality, like these, because they're in the Target dollar section. But, so I don't use those as much, but, um, I know, I don't know. I find stamps, like, really pretty to put, um, on your projects. And these are all of my favorite ones that I have. Um, especially my, I think my first favorite would be this birdcage, because I also love bird cages, um, as well as dress forms, and it's really blurry, but this is a really cute one, um, and I also, there, I have some French sentiments in here, like, merci, and portois, I'm not sure what that means, but, okay, why well, with this fit? Okay, there. And I love the chandelier that says shine and this little thing. And I don't know, these are all just my favorite ones. So those are my January favorites for this month. And if you want me to do another one, I don't I know that I don't have many people that follow me. I, I don't even think I have any. But if you stumble across this video and want to see more videos like this from me, then please leave a comment and I'll try to respond and I'll try to do another video like this um, the following month. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.